Well, despite last week's rain and the rain that Chris is talking about in your forecast today, we are still in a severe drought here in Central Texas, and it's made it tough for a whole lot of us to keep our lawns green for yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm among them. Not looking <laughs> great, but a popular Austin Park continues to grow. KXN's Blake Devine joins us live from Zilker Park. And Blake, we know there are these water restrictions in place, so how's the city keeping the grass green there? Good morning, Tom and Sally. You know, here at Zilker Park, the Parks and Rec Department works around the clock to keep this nearly 350 acre park looking up to par throughout the year. And as you can see, the grass is looking pretty well watered and a lot better than a lot of the lawns I've seen this summer. But, you know, they're experiencing a lot of the same challenges that a lot of folks have faced throughout the summer. And that's, you know, keeping their water irrigated throughout the summer months and keeping the landscape alive. Their saving grace, Ladybird Lake, is they're able to pump in around 300,000 gallons of water each evening from the lake. And this comes at no cost to the city of Austin as the potable water irrigates nearly everything. But without this water, it's hard to imagine what may have happened. If we allowed nature to do what it does and didn't apply any water, it would be very unsafe conditions. People would trip, fall, the turf would pretty much die and then we would probably be looking at replacing turf. What you'll notice is certain parts of the park, such as the area near Barton Springs, dry as a desert. And that's because this irrigation system has only been put in place on the 50 acre Great Lawn where I'm standing right now. And another thing to keep in mind, this soil is so saturated from the recent rain that they haven't needed to water this park in over two weeks and they have no plans of doing so until the rain kind of dries up throughout the next week or so. Tom, Sally.